Yo! And I do believe this is uh, tutorial 5. Uh, this one's all about volumes. Two volumes in particular. Uh, the Tiberian volume, very very simple volume, and the soft world uh, border uh, volume. I'm going to start off with the Tiberian volume because it's gonna mo the most commonly used and it's the most easy to the most easiest to put in, the easiest to put in. So, here's our Tiberium. I'm just gonna put a brush around it. Uh, you can do whatever how you like, what, what sort of brush shape you want, but I'm just gonna use this for now, because this is primarily what we use. And give it some depth. Right, so this is so easy, just right click on the little volume thing, go to RX Tiberium. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> there are some settings in here, uh, like damage per second and whatnot. If you know volumes, you can change these. Uh, but these are pretty much bog standard. If you want to put blue Tiberium or red Tiberium or whatever, and you may want to boost uh, these damage types. So yeah, that to prove it works, I'm just going to play from here. I'll probably probably forgot to set my thing up again no, I didn't. and we're gonna walk in and we're taking damage there is a sound as well I just had my sounds turned off because uh, why not so yeah I'm gonna die I died to Tiberium damage it's all good uh, so yeah, that's how that works right so the second one I, w I want to talk about is uh, the world the soft world border. We call it a soft world border because you can actually pass through it and whatnot. Uh, if you want more details on this, I suggest you look at the map Canyon. Uh, if you have the game, just transfer the, the Canyon assets as well as the map over to uh, the SDK because it doesn't it isn't in the SDK. And uh, there's some soft world borders in that. But I'm going to go through them here. Uh, soft world borders are a well it's it's a volume so yeah we're dealing with volume so yeah it's a volume uh, but these volumes are a bit weird I suggest you only use uh, cubed volumes uh, don't use any other uh, brushes sorry don't use any other type of brush just just stick with the the, um, the cube and just make it as big or as small as you want. Alright, so we got our brush. I'm actually just going to move this over here. And I want to right click and find RX soft level boundary volume. Alright, now we have this. You can see that there is a arrow on this. This arrow is the direction of uh, the entry, uh, the exit point. If that makes any sense. So, if I come in this way, right, I will have to exit that way. So this arrow needs to be pointing this way. Uh, this is pretty much simple. It's uh, it's going to here, and you go to arrow, and I think it's arrow rotation actually. Yes, arrow rotation, and just put the yaw to whatever you need it to be. And that is not the right one. Uh, arrow. Arrow size. Rotation. This is well. It's not arrow rotation. It's actually rotation. Uh, so I'm just going to put this to 90. You can see that turns. Uh, now, if I duplicate this and move it 45 degrees, I should have really used the thing, but meh. Right. This will technically work, but I would you. You've got to make sure this arrow is facing the right way. So again, we just go to rotation, 
your add 45 to 90 which is uh, 135 whoops 135 Oops. And I have mail. Hello, mail. It's not 135, is it? It's, uh, it should just be 45, I was going to think about it. Yeah. So, yeah. That will work. That will work. Uh, there are bugs with vehicles. So, we're going to come out and there should be a time limit. You have to exit the same way you came in. Uh, let me just put down a marker to show where these are. Uh, again, these don't actually work if you go around them. You have to actually physically go through. I say physically go through. Yeah, okay. It pops out by there. So you actually... F I've actually... Oh, it's, yeah, it's by there. Duh. So we're going to come back through. So yeah, you can go around them. Man, I got lots of lag. No, oh, obviously wants to kill me. So we can go around them, and we can pass through the other way. But vehicle, there are there is a problem with vehicles. Uh, if a vehicle passes through, if you get out of the vehicle, uh, basically the vehicle stays. So. Uh, this can actually be used as a flame. Uh, I say flame. It can be it can be used to put a team at a disadvantage. If people keep on driving out all 11 vehicles or 7 vehicles, how many ever the server has, that team will have no vehicles. So, yeah, we you either have to put a damage volume on the other side of it or a vehicle blocking volume just before it. Again, look at Canyon to uh, figure that out. I suggest just having this as infantry myself. But yeah, you come out and uh, it will kill you after 10 seconds. But oh, after 10 seconds. But you can set a time limit. So, you have a, a damage wait time. Uh, it's actually 10 seconds. If I put this to 5, come here and go through, it will be 5 seconds. And it will kill me. Five seconds. Which is uh, pretty cool. You can... You can uh, basically time... You can time things. See if you want to put like a... Let's say an Easter egg on the outside of the map. Uh, they want people to see or try to find. But they're going to die as soon as they get there. But then they can look at it. Uh, you can do that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, but... For vehicles, try not to let any vehicles through. And on that note, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you in the next one. Ta da.